Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kovuman, and in this video I'm going to show you how to save your favorite website to your Internet Explorer browser. Okay? And here we go. Um, if you followed my other video, you'll notice that all my videos will be and are intended for beginners. So I will go into the detailed information on how to step by step as if you were new to computers. Okay? So here we go. Uh, a couple of ways to get to the Internet, right? So down here, if you look, on the bottom left, you have your big E, big blue E, which is the Internet Explorer. You can either go ahead and click on that, and your Internet browser will come up, and that's fine. That's one way of doing it. But in case you happen to not have this big blue E, another way to get to it is to click the Start button, which is down here on the bottom left-hand corner. All you got to do is just click it and type in Enter net okay uh, once you do that if you look up here the very top thing that comes up is the Internet Explorer okay and this is what you want so go ahead and click on that and here we go again now we're back to the Internet Explorer okay the reason I get this pop-up down here is because I'm using a Firefox as my main browser so it keeps asking me to set this default and this will happen if you have multiple browsers which is fine okay I'm going to click no because I don't use uh, Internet Explorer as my main browser. The reason I'm doing it for the Internet Explorer only is because this is by default Microsoft installed browser on majority of the computers, okay? So, but these, uh, the, the instructions I'm about to give you do apply to Firefox and Chrome browsers as well, okay? So, we're going to save your favorite uh, website, we're going to place a shortcut onto your Internet Explorer so you have an easy access to it and that's the whole point of this right so you go to your favorite website and next time you open it open up Internet Explorer you want to have a quick access to it so you don't have to go search for it or, or type in or even try to remember the name of it because sometimes you come across a website that you really like but you forget to bookmark it if you will right so um, in this case um, it's called for the Internet Explorer it's called favorites okay um, it used to be called bookmarks from what I recall but it, it's either going to be called bookmarks or favorites but in an explorer it's called favorites and okay so here we go let's go to a website so if you want to go to a website you can just click up here inside of this box up here and let's just for the heck of it let's go to let's type in yahoo.com okay let's just pretend for a moment that this is your favorite website just an example okay so here we are at yahoo.com right this is our favorite website of ours and we really want to save it so that we memorize it for the next time but we'll, we also want the ease, easy access to it just by one click right so let's do that all right so the first thing you have to do here is anywhere on this blank area up here of the Internet Explorer anywhere up here what you gotta do first and this is just for to make it as, 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 as simple as possible and the most convenient as possible for you okay I do this all the time because it's it, it's the best way to access your favorites your favorite websites and the quickest way anywhere in this blank or, or I, I don't want it's blank but it's bluish white area you want to right click with your mouse button First thing you're going to do is right click anywhere in this area, uh, right click with your mouse button. And here you get this pop up, right? The first thing you want to select here is a favorites bar. Why do we want this? Well, because it's going to create a bar right, right up here, right underneath this first bar where you type in your website name. We're going to get another additional bar that's going to be our favorites bar. And this is where we're going to put our favorite for yahoo.com, your favorite bookmark. Okay, so here we go. Just make sure you click it, and boom, there we go. We get a favorites toolbar right underneath here. And let's see, now we're going to, the next thing we have to do is save our website. So, how do we do that? How do we bookmark this? How do we? add this as a favorite okay well it's very simple um, 
just like up here where we clicked on the blank space to make this menu bar come up and I'll go ahead and show you again so anywhere right click this is what we did and now you can tell the check mark is there so if I click it again it's gonna go away so if I uncheck it it's gone so we want to get get it back right click check it again and it's back okay now we're gonna make a shortcut of this Yahoo website appear right here so the next time we open our Internet Explorer we can add it we can just click on it without having to type it in here again okay so just like up here anywhere on the blank space on the website make sure you don't click on any of these menus on the like for example down here or over here or any of the pictures make sure it's in somewhere blank and the easy way to tell whether you're highlighting something see how it turns into a hand that means something is highlighted underneath you don't want that you just don't want it to be a regular pointer and again this video is for beginners you know this is why I'm explaining it like this because it's specifically for beginners I just wanted to reiterate that okay so we're gonna do the exact same thing as we did up here to add our toolbar menu uh, favorites toolbar we're gonna right click and we're gonna scroll down about halfway down and see where it says add to favorites this is what we're going to, this is what we want to see because if I right click on this picture here we're not gonna get that we're not gonna well we're gonna get this but this is just gonna take us the link this is a bad example if I click for example down here it's, it's gonna be the same thing but it, that's not it, it it's gonna take us somewhere else what we want to click is on the blank space of the website where there's nothing underneath so what we want to do is click on add favorites so let's go ahead and do that select add favorites left click it and then we get this pop-up so it's asking us well what do you want to name this you what do you want to name your website and by default of course it's gonna say Yahoo and all the websites uh, will do the same thing it will, it will call itself whatever it is but there's one important step that you want to do here before we click add we don't want to rush it we don't want to click add right away at all because um, if we do that our um, this is default by the way this is what default that's why I turned it back this is the default menu because if we do that right now it's gonna add it somewhere else and it's not going to appear on our toolbar at all and I'll show you what happens so we click add and nothing shows up right nothing nothing so where did I where did it go okay well it went over here if you look on the right hand side there is a star top right hand side here there is a star that turns yellow once you highlight over it that's the icon for the favorites so let's go ahead and click it so we can find our bookmark that we just created and this is where it went it's right here yahoo.com we don't want it there I mean you can you can leave it there if this is what you like if you want to click on the little star every time and then have all of your bookmarks all, all down here that's fine too but I, I'm gonna show you the you know the easiest and and the, the most accessible way so we're just gonna close this out we can leave it as it is okay we're just gonna click on the star again and make it disappear or you can just click anywhere it doesn't matter okay but now let's add it to our toolbar we want it to show up here because we want to see it right away so let's do this again right click add to favorites excuse me and then here we want to make sure we use this drop down menu here see where it says favorites right here create in favorites we want to use a drop down here so what we want to make sure select is our favorite bar because this is where we want it this is our favorites bar this is what we added earlier this is going to contain all of our favorites all of our websites that we saved okay and now let's see what happens click add and there it is our saved bookmark or favorite if you will is saved right there for easy access so when we close our Internet Explorer by clicking X here it's closed and then we go back to it and open it up it's there so we want to go back to Yahoo the fastest way it's just a click there and it goes to Yahoo it's much better than going over here well much quicker 
and much more convenient than going over here. And of course you can do this. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. I just prefer the quickest way. Okay? And let's do one more just for the for the sake of the uh just for the sake of uh, demonstration. Let's go to um let's go know. ahead and type in cnn.com. Okay? Hit enter. And here we are. Here. This is cnn.com. So let's do the same thing. We're going to add it to our uh, favorites toolbar right next to Yahoo here so we're gonna make sure see I'm gonna right click here in between these two in the, the blank space right click add the favorites and it's gonna stay at favorites bar so we don't have to use this drop down again we don't have to click it again so it's gonna stay at favorites bar and all we gotta do is just click add and there it is we can go back and forth quickly so if you want to go back to Yahoo, click on Yahoo, and it's going to come up. And if you want to go back to CNN, go back to CNN. Okay? Well, guys, thanks for watching. This is, uh, I think I'll call it a uh, successful video here. And then I'll see you next time. Look forward to more video. I will, I will uh, record more instructional videos. And in my next video... I will uh, talk about how to delete cookies and temporary files that are on your computer. Look forward to that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Found it very easy and simple to follow. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>